Hello guys and girls out there. So today I need your help. I want to talk about I want to talk about the problem that I have with my Jurassic Park pinball machine. I have this problem since I got this machine over a year ago and I still haven't been able to fix the problem and the people in the forum are also kind of helpless. So um, yeah, let me just tell you what the problem is. The problem is many times when I play the game and the ball hits or activates something. For example, when I shoot uh, the Raptor's pit or when I hit the captive ball, sometimes when the ball comes shooting out of the bunker or sometimes just when I push both flipper buttons at the same time, I have this really weird problem that the music just shuts off at this exact same moment. The music just turns off and only the sound effects continue to play. And this goes on for the rest of the round. You know, like when the second round or when the second ball comes out, the music is back there. And also when I start a new mission, the music starts to play for that specific mission. But, you know, the music is gone. And I have absolutely no idea what the problem is. I have already fixed and cleaned some suspicious soldering points on some boards. There are no rusty pins or banded pins or anything like this. Um, I, have, I have no idea what it could be. I have no idea what it could be. But what I've realized is every time when it happens, there is always the same dinosaur sound or this, this roar and then the music shuts off. But when I'm hitting the target for this specific dinosaur, I don't know which one it is exactly, and you hear this dinosaur roar, it doesn't shut off. So it, it has nothing to do with this one sound. But, for example, when I'm holding both flipper fingers and the ball doesn't hit anything, there is also this dinosaur roar and then the music is gone. So it's always this sound. You know, I also thought that it could be the LED display because it somehow has been hooked up to two cables that run into the soundboard. But right now I have fixed that I have plugged it in into the original board where the original DMD display would be connected and the problem is still there so I don't know what else it could be I don't know is it really that maybe the the EEPROM is broken is it really that there is like a bug in the software or is it like some sort of an electricity load that just confuses the software? I, I have no idea what it is. So if you have any idea, please tell me what it is because I don't know and I can't really enjoy this game. As you can probably imagine, it's really frustrating when you play a multiball and the music is gone. It sucks. So um, I can show you a little clip of what it sounds like when the problem happens and maybe you can help me what the problem is and give me like a solution, something else that I could try. Like I already said, I've checked all the plugs. I have tried to clean and fix some weird looking soldering points and I also measured them, they should work. And I have no idea. So, yeah, I just show you a little clip of what it looks like when the problem occurs, and maybe one of you has a solution for it. Thank you, and see you in my next video whenever it will be. Bye.
Bumper ready? 